It's been meat week in the studio, and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen all the meats. All the meats. Um, and I would tell you a meat pun, but I'm sure I'd butcher it. What's up you guys? I am in the studio today. I was not planning on filming a video because I'm literally just, you know, no makeup, just in my scrubs, doing what I do every day, which is shooting here for clients. But I was doing something and I realized, you know, this would be really helpful to share with you guys because this is something that is a really quick and easy tip. It does not cost any money. Well, I mean, it costs as much as construction paper, not expensive. Uh, and it's just something that can really change everything. It changed everything for me. So what I want to show you is this image right here. All right, so we're doing this flat lay and I have some salami going on. I've got a little bit of cheese and tomatoes and pasta uh, and I'm liking the overall exposure of the image. But the problem is if you look at that cheese, that cheese is overexposed, right? We're losing the detail in those cubes. And so, but I don't wanna reduce the overall exposure of the image and darken it because then I'm gonna to have to adjust that in post a little bit more and I'm gonna lose some of the magic of, you know, the overall exposure that I've got. So we just wanna fix the cheese, right? Keep it from being blown out. So that's when you grab your construction paper. I've just folded it in half here because what I wanna do is selectively block the light right just on the cheese, okay? Okay, because the light source is coming from here behind the camera. There's a window right here. And so I'm just gonna block the light on the cheese. I don't want it to block the salami. I don't want it to create some sort of crazy shadows, but I'm just placing it right here so it's just casting a shadow on the cheese and suddenly our cheese is properly exposed. It's not blown out. Everything else looks great. We're gonna go ahead and take a shot. And that is the image straight out of the camera. And then if I edit it, here's the final image. And I'd say that looks pretty good. So that is just something I wanted to share with you guys. I thought you'd appreciate it. If you have any questions or feedback or thoughts, observations, feel free to share those in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'll be back. I'll have some other tips. I'm sure I'll get inspired on the next shoot I'm on. So I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for stopping by. You stay out of trouble. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.